We know there were requests being put to diplomats, for example, by members of his staff, asking for him, them basically to produce Pretty Woman for him. Um, uh, is so that right? A, a one woman who gave him a massage lost her job when she spoke out about it. So th there are a lot of big questions about him. He's very close to a man called um, David Rowland, who he goes and who runs a bank for basically very, very rich people. And they're just the sort of people that Andrew's meeting. Roland has been on one of these trips, I understand. Um, and Roland paid off some of Fergie's debts. So um, there's a suggestion that Epstein may have gone on some of these trips as well. Uh, and, um, you know, there's a case that's just going through the court at the moment where a large sums of money were placed in Andrew's uh, bank account, hundreds of thousands of pounds, which he couldn't really explain. Uh, and some money was put in his daughter's bank account. They claimed it was a wedding present or uh, money to, to organize a party. And this was from someone who hardly knew them. So, but the press don't really report these cases. Uh, and, you know, people are turning a blind eye and they know that. And that means that their behavior and I said it's only a limited number of roles, of which I think Andrew is one of the, the, the worst offenders, are behaving like this. It's, it really infuriates me because I've only just started a business for this and I've never done all the business stuff. I'm not very good at it. And I'm suddenly realizing, oh my God, I've got to pay 20% VAT on this and that's just my earnings and there's another percentage and another and it's all going away and I can't believe it. And the amounts are minuscule compared to what Prince Andrew's dealing with and I'm paying it all. Why isn't he doing it? Well, I can't believe he's not held to the same standard, or at least even even more of a standard. Well, I mean, there was a big fight for the Queen to pay tax, and eventually that happened. But they now, the civil list, the money that's given to her, the sovereign grant, um, you know, I think is tied into inflation and, and, and a percentage of their profits. And of course, they're making record profits, various, I mean, the Duchy of Lancaster and, and, and Cornwall. Yeah. So, um, I mean, there was a big contrast the other day because uh, money that isn't, uh, uh, the, the, the people, when people die and test it, that money goes, for example, to the Duchy of Lancaster that goes into Charles's pocket. Yeah. So there are a lot of controversies about their wealth. They're, you know, the wills are sealed. We don't know what's in them. Are, you know, are they doing tax dodges? You know, we have the extraordinary story of, of uh, uh, Andrew's marital home, Sunning Hill um, Park, given to him by the Queen, cost five million pounds. She then basically um, uh, gifted it to, to him. And so he didn't have, he did a, a complicated thing through a trust, so he didn't pay capital gains on it when it was sold. Um, it was sold for way above the, the valuation. By that point, it had been um, basically abandoned and was derelict. Uh, and, and the man who bought it for more than three million pounds over the asking price turned out to be one of the dictators that he was doing business with as a trader. Oh, it's boy. just mad. I can't, I can't handle that. It's, I can't believe well, some of this stuff. It sort of puts people off. I mean, you know, the monarchy does a great job, but I think these people, these bad apples, you know, affect people's view of the monarchy. And, yeah. you know, we're going, we're seeing, you know, with the, the problems over Harry and Meghan, uh, as well as Andrew, uh, uh, and, and the whole racist debate that's going on at the moment, you know, that is quite a sort of big thing for the royal family because, you know, it's not so much here. We don't necessarily believe what Meghan Markle says, but they believe it in the States. Uh, and this is just sort of lighting the, 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 the paper in, in the Caribbean. You know, we, we're seeing people leave the Commonwealth. There's this big debate about, um, slavery and the involvement of the royal um, family. And so this all plays very badly if the royal family are, are seen to be racist. Wow. Well, we'll get, let's get on to Meghan and Harry in a minute because I do want to ask you about that. Just one thing, one last thing on Andrew. His his character, I understand, is, is just not a nice bloke. Is he? Is, I remember hearing stuff about, weird stuff about teddy bears and also just being incredibly rude to staff. Is that right? Yes, he's very rude to staff. He's very arrogant. He feels he's, this, you know, he's, a, he's a, the son of the monarch. He can behave as he wants and he believes in the divine right of kings. Mm. Uh, so he'll summon staff to you know, from downstairs to open the curtains, which he could open himself. Oh, God. He'll use a prote police protection officer to go and pick up his golf balls when he sends them down <laughs> the, the fairway. Um, I have to say, very few people had a good word to say about him. And he stands on ceremony. I mean, there's a famous story with this commanding officer in the Navy. And Andrew said to him, you can call me Andrew. And the commanding officer said, yes, and you can call me sir. Um but, you know, lots and lots of stories how, you know, he's been very jovial one minute uh, and he'll come in at a weekend party the next and um, people are reading the papers and chatting and he'll say, shall I redo this again? And they look at him in surprise and he says, you stand up when I come in. Oh, what a piece of shit.
<laughs> I just can't. I can't handle it. <laughs> At the same time, it's he's a product of his environment to an extent. You grow up like that. I mean, this is what I think about Harry as well. You, you grow up in that kind of environment, and well, you're sort of the spare. Well, you know. you know, remember they've both gone to. You know, they've not been educated at, 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 at home. I mean, they've gone out to school. They've mixed in the rough and tumble of service life. Mm. Um, uh, they both served in action. So, you know, these are not people who've been mollycuddled. Um, they, you know, and also there are plenty of members of the royal family. Um, his other siblings, I mean, Edward and Anne don't behave like this. Mm. You know, they're completely different. I mean, very good to the staff. Uh, the staff are very loyal to them. I mean, it's a huge turnover of staff for Andrew. Um, so, you know, it's about character, I'm afraid, not about the upbringing. Is there evidence you've heard about Andrew and the allegations with regards to, I suppose, was it trafficking and when the women being procured for him by Epstein? Is, is there evidence that you, you can't reveal that you might, it might be too much? Well, I mean, you know, he was very close to Epstein. You know, he went <clears throat> supposedly to, 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 to end this relationship and stayed for several days with him while he did so. Uh, there's no doubt that Epstein opened doors for him uh, business-wise and vice versa, introduced him to useful people. Um, and also Epstein, you know, was a, a, a trafficking woman. I mean, that's pretty clear. Uh, and providing women for his guests, people who were on the Lolita Express, people who were staying with him. Uh, and, you know, it's not just Virginia Giffrey's come forward, but others. There's the famous film of him uh, sort of whispering sweet nothings to someone as she left uh, Epstein's home in New York. So um, I think uh, other women have come forward. A lot of people have been paid off. A lot of people are too scared to speak. Mm. But I think there's a certain amount of evidence. I mean, I don't think he, 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 he took advantage of the woman who were on offer. Um, and I don't think they were that young. I mean, we're talking about women probably 16 up we're not talking mm. about little children which in the uk there'll be a different feeling for british viewers than american viewers yeah and and i think also there are a lot of very mature looking 16 year olds um you know so we're not looking i mean Mount batten was involved with 12 year old boys i mean that's a yes. very different story the difference between that p word and hebophilia which i believe jd salinger was a famous person who had that which is an attraction to post pubescent or pubescent pubescent it was new to me yes but i mean andrew certainly likes you know young pretty girls um but he also likes you know older women he's had a whole series of relationships with m much older women yeah more of his own age so um i i don't think he's a pedophile at all mm. and you know to be fair there are certain uh there's quite a lot of evidence to, su to suggest that that picture was doctored um do you think it was I haven't come to a conclusion on it yet, but but some of the stuff that I've been shown is quite convincing. You know where the arm should be. The, 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 I mean, experts and and taking photographs. You know the, the reflection in the eyes, the perspectives, uh, and of course we don't have the origin of the picture, uh, and the person who discovered it with him. Uh, Sharon Churcher has begun to distance herself from Virginia Jeffrey. Jeffrey's testimony has been shown to, to be not always consistent. Uh, she accused Al uh, Alan Dershowitz, an American lawyer, of having uh, been trafficked to her, and he was he won a case against her. She settled a case. So you know there are, it's a very murky area, and trying to get the the, the truth is is very difficult because you're relying on only a few people who are there who are all saying different things. Not an easy book to write. Not easy. I mean, libel will be a big problem. <laughs> uh, and of course, as you said, as you, the no doubt records, which is what you normally rely on, and the testimony, people don't talk. There's an emerger around the royal family. They are either want to remain within the circles or they're scared or they don't want to get involved. So much easier to say no or not answer than to, to get involved.